Welcome back, everybody. Cassie Schmidt alongside Dan Freemuth. We're going to switch things over to the volleyball court with two teams who have definitely been dominant throughout the year. Parkland a little more so. They've caught themselves, though, in a couple games going to five sets, maybe when they, of course, didn't like that too. Yeah. But Northampton has been a team, whether they dropped these five sets a couple times, have been fighting and have been a tough opponent no matter who they're facing up against. Yeah, two of the EPC's best in terms of boys volleyball, as mm -hmm. you mentioned. And Parkland, a team finding ways to win this season. They're coming off a 3 nothing victory over Pocono Mountain East on Monday. That a strong response after a 3-1 to one setback at Easton last mm -hmm. Thursday. Meanwhile, for the K-Kids from North Hampton coming off a 3-0 win against Pocono Mountain West on Monday. That, though, their first EPC victory over the last four games. A highly touted EPC volleyball showdown at Northampton last night. Tom Mikrantz has the story. With just a few regular season matches left, Northampton is one of the teams still fighting for a berth in districts. The Concrete Kids hosted Parkland Tuesday night. Northampton did everything right in the first set to take a step in that direction. Freshman Jackson Fainel hits the back court as the kids won easily, 25 to 14. Nice block here from Fainel as the kids take the early lead in the second set, 6-2. Northampton led most of the set, but Parkland would right the ship. Lucas Adams with the kill as Parkland takes the lead, 21 to 20, and goes on to win 25 to 23 to even the match. The Trojans ride the momentum into the third set. Jordan Lewis with the drop to cap off a 24 to 18 win, and now Parkland up two sets to one. The roller coaster ride of a match continues. Northampton comes back big time in set four. Lewis Roman with two straight aces. Christopher Miller with the no look drop. 18 to eight concrete kids. Parkland commits unforced errors down the stretch as the kids win 25 to 12. We go to a fifth set tiebreaker. Fainel gets hot leading Northampton to a 14 to 12 lead and match point. But so does Lewis. The sophomore scores three straight points and the clincher Lewis had four of his eight kills in the fifth set. Parkland wins 16 to 14 and the match three to two to improve to 11 and two overall, 10 and two in EPC. Northampton eight and seven and six and seven. I'm exhausted. Um, you know, my guys, there were two sets tonight we didn't even show up. Um, you know, for North, lucky for Northampton, they showed up all five and played really, really well. Um, I, I can't take my, I can't say enough about them the way they're playing right now, especially how young they are. Um, but you know, my guys gutted it out, gutted it out again this year or today, and um, you know we've done it with we did it with Liberty this year already. We did it with uh, Nazareth um, and now Northampton. So. Um, I told the guys it's 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 good. It shows we can we can press ourselves in really clutch situations. Well, today I feel like we kind of underestimated them and didn't play up to our full potential. But today we actually slowed. We started off slow, slowed down in the middle, but then picked it back up. Mason, he he came back from an injury. He did a really good job with that, and with those last couple sets, Noah doing a really good job. Seth and does our like, leader, captain, and they all been doing great. He contacts the ball highest of, of anyone on our team right now, and he's playing with a really lot, a lot of aggression and, com and competitiveness, and it, it's showing. This is a big springboard for Parkland with Freedom, Emmaus, and Whitehall looming on its schedule. Northampton has to win one of its three remaining matches to get into the districts. On the scene at Northampton High School, Tom Mikrantz, Two Sports. So Tom mentioned that showdown for the Trojans next up against the Patriots. That's going to be on Friday, one of just four regular season games remaining for Parkland. The Trojans now 10 and two overall in the EPC, currently locked in a tie for second in the East Penn Conference alongside those aforementioned Patriots. Meanwhile, Northampton next up, a home showdown against Becca. And as Tom mentioned, they need one win in their final three games to make sure they secure a, dis uh, a berth in district playoffs. Well, we are.